Hey fam, welcome to Dub Turbo support video. What we'll do here is go over a lot of the emails that we get and uh, answer some of the questions all at once within one video so you get the app top to bottom and we'll be able to get you guys going quicker with the software. Question number one, uh, why does it freeze? Okay, we'll go to the FAQ and support section here. Here we have a 20 some odd step how to make your PC faster, more optimized, better equipped for rich media use from audio production to video to everything. Some of these are very easy and some of them are very complex. I would suggest you go through everything and uh, it looks like a lot of work. It tr and trust me, some of this you'll be like, oh really, that it was that simple? And some of it you'll be like, whoa, I don't wanna mess with that. And so you don't, just do as much as you can here and it'll uh, improve the performance of the app for you. I know some of you have brand new machines, quad cores, this and that, it shouldn't freeze, it should be so fast, etc. But for whatever reason, with certain setups, with certain settings, it's very diverse. Some PCs that are older run it with no problems. Some that are brand spanking new, like I said, quad core, double screens, crazy motherboard, six sound card, and uh, it's still causing you guys problems. So hopefully this whole video will get you guys going properly. Question number two, where is the online version? Okay, good news. We do have an online version now. Once you log into the member section, there's a big bold online version button. Click on that, it loads up our online version. Uh, here, it's literally the exact same. The only difference is you won't be able to import samples. You'll still be able to save the, the project files, export waves, like literally everything is still identical. If you scroll down on this page, you'll see the same video tutorials that we offer in the videos page. Um, how do I grow my bar count? Won't go past. Okay, so here, We've made it nice and big for you guys now. The bar count starts at two, and you just double click on it. Let's say we wanna go up to 30. Once you press enter, just wait. Don't touch nothing else. You'll see you won't be able to roll over anything. Nothing's highlighting. Just give it a second. It's growing, and it's, there you go. It's uh, calculating everything. Once you click on loop here, you'll see the loop nodes pop up. You gotta grab the second one and drag it all the way to the end. So now you're looping everything. Next question was, why can't I open my files? Good news. I'll open a file here. Uh, something I've been working on recently, quickly, six million ways to die remix. And again, you'll see I'm not able to roll over anything. Uh, it's calculating everything and it's opening. So there we go. Give it a moment. It opens, loads all your files properly. Don't forget, I'm running the online version here and I just opened up a file off of my local machine. So we're, we're talking to the internet and we're playing with the same and I can open this file on my local version too, the installed version on my PC. So now a few things, you'll have to redo the volumes. If you've been uh, mixing and mastering the track, it will reset all the volumes. We're not able to save the volume settings just yet, but we will for the next version. And uh, if it doesn't play anything, when you first open it loop, make sure you put the loop on loop from beginning to end. Sometimes simply pressing solo and then unsoloing will trigger everything and everything will start lining up. So now we can Listen to the track. Opens no problem. Saves everything fine. Next question is, uh, how do I start my first beat? A uh, very broad question, but okay. Click on new. The very first thing I usually like to do, and again, you can scroll down on this page and watch this first or second video actually, and it'll show you. But pencil tool, click, hold, and drag all the way to the end. Press edit. This will pop up your drum machine. Okay, here, turn on your metronome. You're at a tempo of 120. If you press play right now, you'll hear the click, click. Knowing that you're at 120, you can bob your head to that. You know you're, you're going at 120. Take this down to whatever you want or leave it at 120. Okay, we'll leave it at 120 for this example. And then in the drum machine, click your pencil, choose whatever kit you want to use. And um, we're at 120, so let's go with some house. You can do a few things here. With the pencil tool, you can draw in. If you're like, what the hell is he doing? I don't get it. I still don't get it. I'm on layer one right now and it's labeled one kick dot wave. And that's here too, one kick dot wave. So one, two, three, four, five, up to 10 is one, two, three, four, five, up to 10. So that first kick is being lined up on that first layer. Now, if I wanna have number five is my little hi-hat. In between all those kicks, I wanna have a little hi-hat so I can go boom, tss, boom, tss, boom, tss, boom, tss, all the way through. Oops, right click there by accident. If I screw up somewhere, click on my arrow, click, hold, and drag. 
If you notice that it's not aligned up with your mouse, it jumps backwards a little bit. Don't worry, just drag it where you need to, let it go, it's fine. Um, and that's it. That's how I made my first beat, just learning how the matrix works. And in between every one of these little boom, boom, is four other, three other little sounds totaling four. So you can have boom, tss, tss, boom, tss, 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 right? Four between each little bump. And these are all measures. So when I say draw two in, you're like, I don't, I don't get what, how this matrix works. So if I just clicked on one without clicking, holding and dragging, I just drew in one bar. And in that bar, there's four measures. See the fades? So when I click edit here, same thing. One, two, three, four fades. Those are four measures. If I click, hold and drag though, like I did on the first one, I'll see eight. And if I, if you click edit, nothing happens. You have to click on the actual bar. You'll see it highlight, then you'll click edit and then you'll be back in here. Okay, so now I'm at 120, it's looped. I have a little boom, tss, boom tss going. It should be, there you go. And click your metronome back off. You can now go down to your, that's a, that was on a drum layer. You can see here it's labeled drums, 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 then keys, 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 then empty. We left these empty so they don't preload sounds for you. So there's more room for performance and speed and it doesn't freeze up on you. So just easing up on some load time. Uh, we go down to layer five click hold and drag click edit this brings up your keyboard and here we go over this in the other videos quickly but you're, you can use the keyboard you type on to preview or you can draw them in just like you did with your drums very simple very cheesy but just to give you guys next question uh, what, why are some sounds so loud? Can I double them? Good question. Yes. Unfortunately that does happen. And I'll give you an example. Go back in here. If I went like this and I have two, you'll notice it's twice as loud now on that first kick. Watch. It's hard to tell me, but it is. Watch the loop. If I have three, four, it's now going to just trash my speakers. Okay. I can't do that. Make sure you only have one on each piece. And you can check, um, if you have two on there, you can check by just dragging that first one over and seeing if there's something underneath it, and there is. So just get rid of it, okay? Some sounds are also extremely loud and long and will freeze up your machine. For instance, we'll go back into this. Uh, click on my guy, click edit, and right now we're on ARP. If we click P, that brings up our panels. And in here, if I choose like a very Hmm, let's see, what can I use? Long holds, good example. So some of these are very long sounds. It's like four seconds almost. If I fill this up, that is so much data being called and that all these are so long, four seconds each, it's gonna turn into mud and it will freeze the machine probably. Okay, my, my machine's optimized, so I'm good to go. But that's a good reason why uh, things freeze and why some of them are extremely loud and long. It's because there's four seconds overlapping 34 times and it's going to turn into mud. So try to avoid that. Learn the sounds. If the sounds are long, don't overlap them too often. If the sounds are quick, you know you have a lot of room to put them in as, as many times as you want without them sounding like mud. Next, what are the little icons on the buttons? Shortcuts? Yes. Where are we? All these little tiny guys are the shortcuts. So these three tools I use quite often and I made them nice and easy and they go O, P, and then that bracket. So I can move maneuver through the app. Right beside that um, is a breaker button and then the backwards slash is your record. See the little icon on the bottom right of it? Okay, so all four of these are right at your fingertips so you can control them all with one hand very easily. And then the other ones right beside the record, that's space bar to play. <laughs> Spacebar to stop, okay? Or just click on these buttons, but spacebar to play, spacebar to stop. L for loop, pretty straightforward. Right beside that, it's just a bring me back to the beginning button. Save as, it's actually just control S. Open is control O, new control N, pretty straight, pretty straightforward. Um, the help also brings up all these little guys and it'll, it'll tell you what all the shortcuts are. Next question, can I make a template? Actually, that's a great idea. Yes, you can make a template. I think what you mean is like layer one, you would choose what beat you want or what drum kit you want. Layer two, you would choose whatever secondary drum kit you want and then maybe set up a template to be exactly what you want it to be and then just press save as 
and save it as reggae.project or whatever uh, template type you want it to be. So yeah, you can definitely do templates. Good idea. How do I copy my bars then edit them? Okay, straightforward. Bar count, I'm currently at two, so I can take this to, let's go to eight. Press enter, give it a moment. Now I'm at eight. Um, down here, I turn this into mud. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. We don't need it right now. And that's just an example. It's blank, we don't need that either. I just hold down shift. Hold down shift and then click, hold and drag. Okay, that's all you gotta do. And so now I just made eight. Uh, now if I click on the second one and I click edit, not the first guy, but the second guy, click edit. I can add stuff, I can delete stuff. Here, let's add a snare. Boom, 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 And that's pretty loud. I'm gonna just turn that down a little bit. And then on this third guy, let's get rid of the hi-hats. So all four of these will be different. So you'll notice I edited the second one and it only edited that didn't edit this so you can individually edit all of them next why does my export clip and redline okay we've given you guys all the samples pretty much at a normalized just under zero so they're all very loud samples when you overlap everything and if you don't mix properly uh, yeah you'll probably redline so a good thing to do is to mix down Make sure everything's normalized and sounds uh, like it's not fighting with each other. Separate things by volume and then up here in your master, if you do clip, instead of playing with the volumes, if you're really happy with these volumes and you don't want to change them, just bring your master down. You can even go down to like halfway to be really safe. And then once you export from this, you can open this up in Audacity or uh, SoundForge or any of the editors. There's even a bunch of free ones out there. Wavasaur, just like Dinosaur, but Wavasaur.com is a cool free one. You can normalize and change up and tweak and everything within for free. Okay, so there's how you would not redline. Next question. Should I get another sound card for this? Uh, that's up to you guys. If you are freezing and you just can't get around uh, not freezing no matter what you try, yeah, I mean, sound cards will help all audio, not just up turbo. Getting a proper sound card is, is important in my world. I do audio as a professional, and I can't use um, the motherboard sound card that comes with my, with my PC. How do I get the bonus kits and bonus songs? Okay, the bonus kits have already been preloaded into the software. Uh, if we go into any of these, I'll go and show you some of them, the new ones. A few more beatboxer kits have been added. Like 10 new female vocal kits have been added. Some more fills, guns, explosions, hot shells, low ends, scratches. There's been a whole bunch of additions here. And then the same for the keyboard categories. We've added a whole bunch of kits there too. Okay, so here we are on the video tutorials page. As you're watching these, we decided to put them here. Maybe it's not the perfect location for it. And we'll put this in the resources section too. But uh, click here to download your free bonus. It's a big download and this is where you get it. Right on the video downloads page. Nothing was shipped to my home. You didn't ask for an address. Nothing will be shipped to your home, guys. Next question. How do I set the sound to my main sound card? Uh, okay, that's not something Dub Turbo actually does. If you go to your control panel, click on start, go to control panel for your PC, click on your audio and sound devices, and in your audio and voice, you'll see the drop downs and if you have more than one sound card, choose whatever one that you want it to be assigned to. And uh, that's what Dubtribble will use. Uh, again, going back to should I get a sound card, there's a very great beginner sound card. It's a simple to use card that you can plug in a mic to, a mixer into. Uh, you can avoid looping. It's a great sound card for both beginners and pros. Voice, same thing. Go to your default, default device, drop down and choose whatever it is you want to assign to. And then that's what Dubtribble will use. Okay, I hope that helps you guys figure out what's what. The videos will explain more in detail what each panel does, and that should help you guys get going. If you still have problems, again, go to the FAQ and support section. Scroll and absorb this page. It's a bit of a read, but do scroll and absorb it, and you'll be able to get the most out of your application, both the one you install and now our online version. And this online version will grow too. We'll start adding more kits to it and giving a little bit of a perk and bonus area down at the bottom here for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this and we look forward to hearing your feedback soon.